costume is, here is quite fascinating. Is that can you actually dance in that? This is a more of a tribal style costume. This is just one of my tops, and this is the rest of their wardrobe. Yeah. So um, normally I have on a long skirt and the, the whole bed blood, the belt and the beads and the coins and all that mess. But this is more of a tribal style costume. So it seems like you have a little bit more variety than most of the dancers in the top 20. <laughs> Do you feel like that gives you a bit of an advantage? Um, I don't feel like I have, I don't know what I feel. <laughs> um, and in, I don't, wouldn't really call it an advantage. I'm different. I do have my, you know, style and I do train and everything else. Um, I mean, I'm not nearly as talented as these other dancers are in their styles, that's for sure. So for it to feel it as an advantage, I don't feel that way. I just feel like, you know, it's, for me, it's, if I didn't have that, I don't feel like I would necessarily be here. You know what okay, I mean? Yeah. Like I had enough to get to work, you know, to get here, but it's, you know, there's a lot going on with me. <laughs> well, given all the different styles of training you do have, do you feel like more might be expected from you in the coming weeks when you get a something you do have experience in? Um, you know, I feel like I'm going to expect the absolute most out of myself, and so with anything that I'm given, whether I've learned it before, or had a class, or two classes, or ten classes, I feel like um, I'm going to try my hardest in everything possible. So the expectant level is whatever that person wants to expect of me, but I'm going to give them my 110% every time. Is there any dancer here that now you've had all these, you know, mm -hmm. weeks and months to work together that you're really excited to dance with? I love them all. Everyone is so sweet. I mean, me and Glitch have become friends from the beginning. Like, we met in Atlanta at our audition, and so we've just been friends, and like, he's super cool. I think we would make a really awesome, crazy duet. There's That'd be a no fun thing. duo. Yeah, we were like talking about like a battling drum solo, where he's like nice. clicking, and I'm like, you know, going at it in like a whole different way, and like, you know, it's fun to like talk and be like, oh, we could do this, and we could do that, but we have no idea what's going to happen. So where's so. Nigel when you need him for to get right. out, beat him yeah, the idea? Absolutely. That'd be fun. So hopefully they thought about it. Yeah. You're like, um, so you tell me dance producers, think about this, mm -hmm. think about this. So no, everyone's really cool. I'd love to work with I mean, any of the cast. It's amazing. And what choreographers are you most excited? Oh my goodness. I love Tice. He's a sweetheart. He pulls something out of me that, you know, I am. I haven't had the pleasure of working too close with him, but just having class from him, it's been amazing. He's a great person. And um, Sonia is... Her fire, I feel like, is a lot of what I have to offer. You know, I mean, I'm a very fiery dancer as far as, like, I love to perform and be out there and entertain and, and get people excited, and I feel like she is very much fireball. So I'm super excited to work with Sonia. And is there any kind of dance, you know, style you're kind of petrified of getting in week one? Um, like I was saying, telling everyone else, I'm not too petrified in one specific style. I feel like every style has so many styles within the style that it's almost hit or miss. It's like, you know, I could get hip hop and it may be a good thing or it may be like a scary thing. You know, it could be more of a jazz funk and like kind of sexy and I feel like I could do that really well and then I could get into like, you know, something like really down and dirty and like almost angry and like crumping, which <laughs> I'm the most like happy, smiley person ever and I'm like tiny so they'll just have to load a whole bunch of clothes on me and I could, you know, Try to be, crumb. All, be all gangster, but yeah, I'm a little worried about that and I think the ballroom is a little frightening. You got the heels, I gotta keep my back straight, you know, my booty tucked under, but then I gotta work my booty and then I gotta keep my arms open, like it's just... Um, and then you got Mary with her expertise. Exactly, so, you know, she's scary. I always want to be on her, you know, hot tamale train, so yeah. hopefully that will, <laughs> that will happen at some point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, never, that's something to aspire to. It's a yeah. good thing to have. Absolutely.